What up, YouTube? Asian Persuasion here, Team DKF, here at the Denver, Colorado Regionals. We're here with almost top eight, ninth place. What's your name and what'd you play, man? Uh, James Warner, and I played uh, Dark Magicians. So tonight. you almost got there, man. X2 and bubbled out to uh, a bunch of X11s. Yep, so you got ninth place. You yeah. almost got that top eight with this awesome deck. So yeah, man, let's just get into the profile and you can uh, explain some cool stuff. So I played 43 cards today uh, okay. um, with two desires. Um, so I played 14 monsters. I played the two maxi. Uh -huh. I really feel like this card is just main it or don't play it now. I, yeah. I really don't see a point in siding it. Mm -hmm. um, I played the one robe. Uh, oh. Robe. I actually ended up siding him out a lot today um, because he's a free side out, but he was. Uh, 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 he was good there for uh, tributing for illusion. I didn't even use his effect today, but he he still you gotta have him in there yeah. as an option. I kind of like that. I don't see that in a lot of dark magician builds, so that's kind of cool. Uh, then I played the one night and sorcerer, one kaiku. Um, these both came in so clutch today. Uh, mm -hmm. um, they're summonable off of uh, magician's navigation, which is great. Um, locking out. Uh, banishing, whether it's ABCs or I played against the uh, Infernoid player, yeah, but uh, he, round, right? he had the uh, he had the dark hole for it though when I <laughs> when I went for it, uh, and then the the Night End Sorcerer uh, being able to banish anything is really nice. Um, it's good against the frogs. Um, it's, good really against, against frogs. Uh, it's good against it's good against. Metal foes like getting rid of their stuff so they can't mithra mithra them back. So yeah, uh, these cards were so key today. Yeah, I, I saw would, you removing everybody's stuff with this today. I would not be playing more than one of each. Um, that's just my preference. But yeah. uh, um, they were so so good. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the obligatory three ofs. Uh, <laughs> Magician's Rod, he searches for a Magician Speller Trap that lists Dark Magician in its card text. Mm -hmm. So he searches everything that you basically play. Yeah. Um, and then also his other effect is when uh, you activate a Speller Trap or effect uh, of a Speller Trap during your opponent's turn, um, you can tribute a Spellcaster type monster you control uh, to add him from graveyard to hand. For sure. Um, there was a ruling that came up uh, that I learned about today that I was playing this wrong before, but I was playing it right today, is uh, that, uh, bol that both him and Magician of Dark Illusions uh, mm -hmm. must go on a separate chain. Um, oh, really? So after you activate your Spell or Trap in one chain, mm -hmm. um, it'll look, uh, basically when that chain is resolved, you sure then will be able to activate them. It'll look at the last chain, okay, was this condition met? So something that's a really was really good but it, um was uh being able to like activate a counter trap mm -hmm. let it resolve and then summon a some add him back to hand or summon a magician. magician from dark illusions the that's problem with that same ruling though is uh if you play against a paleozoic and they like then dino they the then trap. they dino miscus targeting your dark magician yeah. you then can't uh, like activate uh, one of your trap or spell effects and then tribute the dark magician mid chains um, which really sucks because yeah, then it's gonna get banished so mm -hmm. it's unfortunate but at the same time it was really good for like Everything activated else. counter trap and stuff yeah and then the three magician of dark illusion um, I actually ended up OTKing with him uh, really? today uh, I made a uh, Abon Illusion Magician, summoned a Dark Magician, banished his uh, his card, and then uh, activated a spell for his on-field effect, which is uh, summon a Dark Magician from your graveyard, and then, mm -hmm. uh, so I had like 10k yeah, on board. on board everywhere. Yeah. That's awesome. And then obviously the three Dark Magicians. Oh yeah. I. I, I'm thinking about actually hollowing this, uh, trying to hollow this entire deck out, and but uh, putting out those uh, two hundred dollars for the DDS. Yeah, that's pretty spicy, man. <laughs> that's pretty spicy. Like, what'd you call this deck? What's that slogan oh, yeah. you call it? Oh, you gotta yeah. say it right now when uh, these guys are out. So my nickname for the deck today was sliding into the DMs. Hey, <laughs> sliding into the deck, so epic. So that was my monsters for today. <laughs> uh, for my spells, I played the uh, One Dark Magic Inheritance. Uh, 
this car was really good. Um, it is searchable off of Rod, and then being able to banish stuff like your Allure of Darkness or your Pot of Desires or Duality or your Illusion Magic, and then adding something that you still want is really good. Also, it being a quick play, it is activatable during your opponent's turn, so it uh, can set off your Dark Magician of Illusions and stuff like that. For sure. Uh, really good. Yeah, I actually don't see that card a lot, so I like that. Uh, one Dark Magic attack, uh, because it is searchable with Eternal Soul, and uh, Harpy's Feather Duster is really good. You're right. Uh, <laughs> you ain't lying. Um, a lot of the times when I was playing today, I was like, uh, uh, I'd use Eternal Soul on my opponent's turn, and then standby phase if they have back row, I'm like, activate Eternal Soul, search for Dark Magic attack, mm -hmm. enter main phase, do you, have, like, do you have a response before I enter main phase? Harper's Feather Duster, and they're just they're like, it won me a lot of games today. I bet. I, when it didn't get banished by Desires, that is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when it didn't get banished by Desires, you were lit. And then uh, two Allure of Darkness, um, I was only playing two because uh, um, you do play a bunch of three ofs, but you don't want to banish your yeah, stuff unless mostly. Yeah, you just have to. Um, uh, I was a lot of the time actually ended up banishing Dark Magician um, with this. When, uh, when I'm obviously forced to, but uh, uh, even when I wasn't forced to, if I had like a rod and a dark magician, it's obviously better to get rid of the dark magician since yeah. you can add more to your hand. Definitely. Uh, two desires. Uh, did not play three. I felt two was consistent enough, and I didn't really... I've heard the horror stories of desires in Banished 10 and then drawn to two more desires, and I was like, I don't, don't want to want deal that with in that. Your life. <laughs> no, I feel you. I, that happens a lot more than people think. Uh, two duality, um, because uh, you can special summon during your turn, but you are not needing to. Um, the ability to go duality and then look at, find a rod and then summon rod and search and then just be you, the deck plays on your opponent's turn a lot so being able to uh like losing out on your special summon doesn't affect you yeah that much mm -hmm. uh, i played two illusion magic a lot of people only play one but i really like this card at two um it came in clutch a lot today um being able to add the first two dark magicians and then uh later on in the game uh being able to activate another illusion magic to add another one yeah. to prevent uh, something from happening to my board or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, so I think this card is really good. Yeah. Um, obviously, you need Dark Magician to have the deck for run. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You definitely need it. <laughs> and then obviously the three circles. Circle, uh, you look at the top three cards, add a Speller Trap or Dark Magician, a Speller Trap that lists Dark Magician or a Dark Magician, mm -hmm. and then the banishing effect is just this yeah, card bonkers. is yeah like every field i saw on your side of the field today was just always involving this and the the interruption of this card to every deck is just so yeah. amazing and i like, bet a lot of people don't know how to play against this they deck. really don't this card this deck is not seen so it's uh really like when you uh when you go off with this deck it just goes off yeah for sure uh, then I was checking the one Starlight Road today. Hey. Um, one, because I hate Twin Twister. I understand. Um, <laughs> but then the other thing that actually used it to win me a match today was uh, um, my Eternal Soul got destroyed. Mm -hmm. And when Eternal Soul activates in the graveyard to destroy all my uh, monsters, mm -hmm. I activated a Starlight Road. I and I gave my own... Uh, my own uh, Eternal Soul. I didn't get the Stardust Dragon, but I left my board alive, yeah. which then ended up uh, screwing over the guy that I was playing, like screwing up his plans, because he thought he was going to clear my entire board, and I was just like, no. That's awesome. Hmm. I love Road. Oh, my uh, the warning, of course. Oh, yeah. Uh, skill Drain. Oh, I, uh, <laughs> I love this card today. Um, he, most of the time, you're just summoning Dark Magicians over and over again. Yeah, so there's just 25 um, beaters anyway. Yeah, 25 beaters, that, and you're also removing their threats with the circle. Um, I really never found a, an instance where, like, this was not helpful. Mm -hmm. Like, every deck I played today uh, was that I actually saw it against was really good. Um, the only thing I set it out against was the Infernoid player yeah, because... that card sucks again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want that killing yourself faster against him. <laughs> uh, I played the two strikes. Uh, 
usual stuff for strikes. Like, Pendulum man, yeah. that deck. Yeah, I actually wrecked my friend with that today. Uh, <laughs> Pendulum summoned four monsters, gets hit with a strike. Yeah, he didn't win that one. Uh, I play the double quaking because this deck does rely on its special summoning, so if I played against Dark Lords or Metal Foes and they went for a Vanity's Fiend or anything like that, mm -hmm. needing to flip those things down to get them out of the way. Yeah, because your guys can deal with their defense yeah, and stuff. Yeah, you know, and um, they, but my guys are kind of smaller, so yeah. um, de dealing with their defense is easier than dealing with their attack. You're right. Uh, the three, Navigation. Um, special summon a Dark Magician friend, and also and, special summon and, a uh, level 7 or lower spellcaster from your deck. So that's where the Kaiku and the, the, uh, Kaiku and like the, and the Knight and Sorcerer, yeah. And then also, this card is amazing because, uh, except during the turn it's sent to the graveyard, while you control Dark Magician, you can banish it from your graveyard to target a spell and trap your opponent controls and negate its effects. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, so today I played against someone who activated Desires while I had this, <laughs> so they banished 10 cards and then I navigated. And he was like, well, <laughs> yeah. long story short, that's up. <laughs> so that, and then uh, also again... I think I saw that, no, I think I saw that when that happened to that then, guy. And then oh also I played God. against my friend today and uh, he, uh, he had a Kieran bounce back a Archfiend Eccentric yeah. and he played the Archfiend Eccentric uh, the next turn attempting to blow up my Eternal Soul and I was like well when you activate it banish the navigation target the Archfiend Eccentric so it doesn't do anything Damn. so this this card was amazing I would never run any less than three of it so definitely run three all right I like that card uh, I played the three-dimensional barrier um, a lot of the time I found myself siding one of them out, um, just to, because other stuff is harder to take out than them. Yeah, definitely. Um, but, uh, this card, uh, uh, calling fusions against heroes when they activate their mass change is really nice. Yeah, hurts bad, yeah. <laughs> or, uh, when metal foes do it. Yeah, try to pendulum and stuff. And yeah. Like, nope. So, yeah, this, this card is the tits. It is. You're right. You're right. And then uh, I played the three Eternal Soul. So uh, this, card. this card is bonkers. Yeah, this, this is how you win, like, right? This is the so card. this makes Dark Magician, the name Dark Magician, unaffected by everything. 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 Um, <laughs> everything. And once per turn, during other players' turns, since it's a trap card, you can either add Dark Magic Attack or a thousand knives from your deck to your hand, or you can special summon a Dark Magician from your graveyard or hand. Yeah. Um, this this card like. Metal foes are, become such an easy matchup with this card because yeah. a lot of the time they're still like, oh well, Kieran's an amazing out, and it's like, like well, that, that's a now, cute Kieran. That, that's a cute Kieran that can't bounce anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this this card is absolutely nutty. Um, it does have the drawback of being when it's uh, when it's sent from when it's removed from the field uh, while face up, it does pop your entire board. That's what the Starlight Road was for, and then also uh, I usually. Um, I usually also have a backup of this when I when I try and play it. I try to have backup plans. Like yeah. obviously, this card does is the double-edged sword. So if it does get dealt with, your board's gone. Yeah. So you really need to have something that's like you need to have something to back it up. For sure. And a lot of the times I did, thankfully. Yeah, that's good. So there's 40 cards in there. Uh, 43. 43. All right. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, then for the extra deck, um, a lot of this was just because I run the tuner and if the situation comes up, it can happen. So I ran the One Herald of Arclight, uh, Stardust Charge Warrior, Coral Dragon, um, and then obviously the Stardust for Starlight Road. Yep. Um, I was running, for my level nines for uh, uh, stuff, I was running the Azure Eyes because uh, just requires it, you know, like just requires yeah. the vanilla, and then you can bring back Dark Magician. Yeah, that's kind of dope. I didn't think about that. It does. Uh, Triss, just in case I ever actually had a two, a three, and a four on board, and then this guy was amazing. Uh, generic level nine, um, being able to during my opponent's turn navigate into sorcerer and dark magician and then during my turn synchroing into this yeah. and then popping another card of course still very underrated price wise yeah. too very oh yeah definitely man. like uh i'm surprised the card is only like five bucks yeah for sure five dollars for that card is wrong <laughs> and then uh once again if i ever had the situation where i could make a rank three 
I played the Dante, <laughs> the Grand Pulse, and the Levier. Uh -huh. um, and then the rank sevens I played today um, were one high magician. Um, what he does is you can detach a material to activate a quick play or a trap card during your opponent's turn. Um, so he basically he's basically open binia. Yeah. For, for the Paleozoics. Yeah. So he's pretty good. Uh, and then uh, one illusion magician. This guy came in so clutch today, uh, being able to uh, overlay two Dark Magicians into him, bring out the third one, banish a card, and then bring back another one with Eternal Soul yeah, or something. It was amazing. Yeah. Uh, Draco Sack. Uh, man, I saw you this, bringing back Dragon Ruler format on your fields, man. This Kaiku card, and this, that card. This card is like not even used anymore <laughs> because it has gotten so power creeped. But yeah. today I made it, I think, Three times. You made it look good every time I saw uh, like, it. Like it's. Uh, I made it mostly like against metal foes because yeah. like I'd, I'd clear off some stuff, stuff and then pop a scale when I know like they don't have like all the answers immediately. So uh, yeah, he did come in clutch today. Hey man, that's all. And then also actually I had a him and a token out and they popped my eternal soul and, and like, Draco Sack survived. Yeah, I saw that. I was I was watching that exact moment. Oh, like that's funny. Uh, the big eye. Um, Big eye. It's steel stuff, man. <laughs> what's yours is what's his is yours. And then flare metal. Um, I didn't do it today, but uh, like a, a couple of times I've hit for like 7,500 with three dark magicians. Just like yeah. unless you have a kaiju, your first card playing, you're you killing lose. yourself. Yeah, for sure. So side bit. Side deck, I played the uh, one Ghost Ogre because uh, I didn't really, couldn't really think of another card that I really wanted to side in. Yeah. Um, and I was main decking the Max C's, so I could side it in if I ever played against Hand Loop or something. And yeah, I that would be do great have the option. Uh, I played the four Kaijus. Oh, yeah. Um, I played the level sevens because I can make my rank sevens. Uh, yeah. So obviously better than Gamisiel for me. Mm hmm. I played the one positive quiz, pot of acquisitiveness um, because I have points I will allure away my stuff, but also if I play against ABCs, shuffling back their three Dead stuff things. and then draw yeah. a card um, yeah, to prevent their ABC <laughs> is really good. Um, I played two Book of Eclipse. Uh, this card. Um, oh no, I'm running out of memory. We gotta speed it up a little bit. Uh, this card came yep. in clutch, uh, yeah, as usual. <laughs> uh, and then uh, two slumbers for mm -hmm. the four kaijus. And then I sided one eradicator, one deck devi, and three loser turns. Oh baby. Uh, eradicator because dark magician. Dark, yeah, you're right. Like, it is 25. Taking out spell, taking out spells or traps is amazing. Mm -hmm. Taking out low attack monsters and then this because a lot of the time you are running the vanillas. Um, so it never hurts. So you it really doesn't hurt you that much. The only time it really hurts you is that when you navigate and you summon out uh, something that uh, has an effect. Has an effect. For sure, man. Any shout outs you want to give, man? Uh, I want to give shout outs to all my friends uh, from Colorado Springs that came up with me today. My buddy Cody. Hey. My buddies. Sean and Dante over there. They're down there somewhere. And then uh, my teammate over here, Jack Reed, hey. who, uh, who went uh, X21 with Cyframes. Yeah, today. poor guy lost to me on the bubble. I feel bad. <laughs> For the cancer. <laughs> <laughs> For the cancer. For sure, man. Congrats on getting uh, ninth place. Maybe next time you get in that top eight, man. Yeah. And thanks for the deck profile. Thank you very much.